Yes, you read that right. I decided to let my community decide the content of this video. A few weeks ago, I asked you lot to come up with your best idea for a Planet Coaster video, and I would realise whichever comment received the most likes. How can I not have foreseen being trolled by my own subscribers? Yes, with 19 likes, Neil suggested I build a park entrance entirely out of trims. And maybe some ivy. Thank you, Neil. I'm ever so grateful. Some of you might be asking, why trims? To be honest, I'm asking the same question. I hardly ever mention them. My favourite pastime, adding trims. That's right, it's time for another trim. Time for some good old trims. I don't just add trims to the outside of builds, oh no. I'm adding trims to the inside too. Using wooden columns, I, and get ready for this, added more trims. What's better than one trim? Three trims. Next is just the usual trims and detailing. You guessed it, more trims. I'm adding trims again, and gave it a nice trim, and trims. But anyway, I'm a man of my word, so without further ado, let's do the thing. After laying out all the trims that tickled my fancy, I began with what was likely to be the most difficult part to achieve, the walls. I stacked slightly angled haunted house wooden beams to achieve a feather edge cladding effect. Eat that, architects. A park entrance isn't much use without a window, so I used some short beams in place of the longer ones. For the foundation, I used temple trim pieces. It was at this point I decided to go for an adventure style build. After some recolouring, I added some corner trims using the concrete decorative courses. To frame our window, I used Haunted House Pillars, the thinnest of the in-game beams. Where I would normally use the locomotive rails for a shutter, I used the facade scaffolding from the Ghostbusters pack. To stop the walls looking so flat, I used slightly different shades of natural wood colour. Time for more trim. Shocking. I used stucco coins for the top layer of trim. But Moomin, coins are supposed to go on the corner of buildings. Goodness, I'm an absolute madman. To further texture the wall, I added some rando pillars. <laughs> what a nutter. This is the first time I've ever used these carnival decorative trims, and I'm so glad you can share this experience with me. Next came another challenge, creating a door with only trim pieces. I used planks and pillars with a bracket as a push plate. For the roof I used the stucco wall trims as they are large and flat. Mind blowing.
before we duplicate our build to the other side, I started work on a covered section, or pergola if you will. I used much of the same stuff here for cohesion, although you'll notice I flipped the carnival trim because I truly live life on the edge. After the duplication has been done, I began work on some foliage. Neil allowed me to use, and I quote, maybe some ivy. So for this, I treated myself to anything in the wall climbers category, really pushing the boat out now. If you've regained consciousness after the shock of me succeeding at this challenge, it's time to jump down into the comments. What would you like to see me do next time? Once again, the comment with the most likes will be made into a video. You might be thinking, oh I get it, Moomin is too lazy to write his own content now. And whilst you're correct, you're also very astute. Enjoy the cinematics of this park entrance made entirely out of trim, and I'll catch you next time.